G'day, welcome back to Kiwi Farmer. So my name is Alistair Burr, farm here sheep and beef, uh, just out of Oxford, Canterbury in New Zealand, 560 hectares here, 65 hectares least block down the road. Um, yeah, today's job. Like I said in the last video, I've got some posts to replace before I shift them on beef cows across that are calving. We've got our train, we've got a bale of hay for the cows, we've got our Series 2 King Hitter uh, with Dominator base on the back, and then the old dog trailer on behind with all the fencing gear in it. Goes to a pretty, pretty cool setup. Well, uh, got one post just to do here near these heifers, it's broken, and then we'll shoot up the top and do the one with the cows. So first things first, we'll take the trailer off. And this is the post we've got to replace here, one with the cross on it. Um, so we'll come up, back up and show you the reach, hopefully, that this thing can do. Job done. Hopefully, you caught some of that. Um, yeah, so this one's wobbly. And since we've got the power turned off, we'll uh, put our toolbox here so everything goes back in here. Insulator, hammer. Just a couple of staples. Hey, girls. Hi, Bailey. You ready for you to have a calf? Soon. Hey. So that way job's done, off to the next one. What do you think of that? Pretty good. Come shift your fence tomorrow, won't we? Yeah. We'll hook our trailer back up, we'll leave the mast up. There's no low power lines or anything. That back in there, like that. Tootling along up the extra track, trailer on behind. It had an issue with this tractor the other day, it did the, the five solenoids for the power shift. So it, um, it broke two of them, it was shifting like a bag of crap and then it actually wouldn't shift at all, it would start jumping and skipping and whatnot. So it must have been going bad for a while because now it's, man, now it's like new again. So thanks again to the boys for power farming. They come out uh, a day later and fixed it all up. Got the parts overnighted and we're back up and running. Just doing a few upgrades to the hill house. Uh, we're taking it off Airbnb and listing it on a new platform. So that'll be in a different video. But yeah, outdoor baths uh, connected to the gas caliphant. It's gonna be pretty good. All right, grab my show at spade. And uh, that's where we're heading. That's where we're heading over there in the skyline. Spade in the wee spade holder. There we go. So before we get started, I'll show you the plan. 
this strainer post here is tilted over um, so that needs pulling back the stay needs putting back down or probably put in a new stay um, and then this these spans are quite wide especially for a pressure point like this um, between these two paddocks so we're going to put posts in between each of those three spans there um, yeah just a bit fiddly and a bit of mucking around but perfect tool for the job over there So first things first, we're going to put the legs down on the base, set the post driver up, we're going to try and straighten this strainer, bash it down a wee bit, get that stay sorted, and we'll focus on those uh, intermediate posts. Take the weight off, see if it stays there. One other thing I'll do is just put a wire fire in, stop that post from twisting, because I think that's what's happened before. So it's twisted, then the stays popped out. So we'll go and do these intermediate posts now, and pick some gear away.
Yeah, I'm on to go. So that's us all finished here. Strainer done, intermediate posts done. Does look a bit wonky with the barb going up and down with the netting stuck in the ground, but that's all right. It'll be stronger than it was and tighter than it was, so we'll take that as a win. That uh, post driver makes it a heck of a lot easier. And yeah, that Dominator base can be retrofitted to any King Hitter post driver, pretty sure. So if you've got a, the old rear mount, yeah, have a look at the Dominator base and completely transforms your machine. So Saturday afternoon, just gonna go one more post to drive or a couple more posts to drive in a real tricky situation, but what's Kiwi Farmer channel without uh, some sheep action? So here's another fat head. Oh buddy, you're a big lamb and mama was like, no, I don't want anything to do with you. So she did the jit, pulled, pulled the lamb out pulled his tongue out like I did in one of those other videos, got him breathing, and um, yeah, they're in the old stable there, old horse stall, just to uh, make sure they mother up. So, gonna grab this, and uh, go and do the last couple of posts, hopefully on a real tricky fence. So this is what we got going on here. Big old beech tree came over this deer fence, snapped a couple of posts off. That one's not broken, but it needs re-bashing. Um, so I'm going to strip this out, take out the broken ones, put some good ones over there in the pile, so we'll go and grab a couple of them, and uh, yeah, back in here and show you the reach of this uh, Dominator base.
So I'll try and explain. Hopefully you can hear me over the tractor noise. Uh, everything I do here. So we've got the tractor sitting um, kind of on some hard ground. We've got the legs of the Dominator down. So that's all nice and supported. All we can do now is swing the base around. We stand on here so we don't fall off. Swing the base around and then push the side mount out. So push it out. That's where our post is going to go. So we can reach all the way over and about there. Now we just put the put the legs of the base down. Just trying to get these rammer posts, the rammer legs sitting on the. That's no, not going to work. It's a too funny angle. We can put the top link of the base down as well, and that'll tilt the whole thing down. Yeah, that'll do. It's pretty soft, so we should be alright. Get this leveled up with the little uh, level button here. So that's pretty good. And then it's 90 degrees to the fence. <coughs> Til tilt it over just slightly, like that. Right, we'll go and, uh, go and grab our post. Bash her in. Right, we've got our post in there. Deer post, uh, it's probably a bit close at the bottom. So what we're gonna do, side mount in. That'll pull the bottom away. And if we need to, we can pull the top in, but no, that looks alright. Right, we've got it unhooked. Need to cut the wax. It's pretty soft. It's not going to take much. Needs to be about my height. One wee, one more. Yep, there we go. Right, put that on there. We we'll better get a picky first. Right, got our Instagram picture. We'll uh, fold this up, lift the monkey up, suck the side mount in. You can see there, it's coming in. Right, and then we're gonna, what are we gonna do? Base down. Put the legs of the base down. Yep. Swing the base around. This way. So the weight's on the uphill side. Pop monkey right down. Just because we're working on this wee bit of a slope here, it's quite breezy, so we want to make sure that all our weight's as low as possible. Then you can hang it out of the back to stop the weight from coming either side of the tractor. All right, we'll shift on to our last post. So there's the one we just did, sorry about the sun. Not a very nice time of day to be doing this, but for you guys. So right, we've uh, backed up to where we should be. Beauty with this is if you had just a fixed rear mount, you'd have to lift the monkey up and then back up into here because you've got that gap between the fence and the monkey. But what we can do here is we lift this up. There we go. All the way up. Right, and now we can start positioning our rammer. So, once again, legs down. Legs, legs down, legs up. Yep. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to rotate around a little bit. Yeah. Push the side mount out. Right, what we can do is pull that in, put the marsh shift all the way over this side, there, rotate around a wee bit more, and actually we'll go the other way, rotate that way, marsh shift that way, now we're more square onto the fence, we can side mount out, there, right until we get close to the fence, right there, Tilted and top link in a little bit. Get that button to fall on the line. Right there. Alright, throw our post in there, bash it in. Job done.
So three posts done, pretty tricky place. I've been putting this off for quite a while just cause it's um, yeah, not the easiest place to get to. And um, but this machine is perfect for that. So the reason I had to do this is sheep weren't getting out of here into here, but the deer were jumping off the bank out of the old cut over forestry into here, eating all my good grass I need for ewes that have lambed or hoggets that are lambing. So essentially we've made ourselves a wee deer trap here. But we'll get this uh, stapled in. Got our staples in the toolbox here. So self-contained piece of kit. That's awesome. What this base can do is very impressive. Yep. Plenty more fencing to come over the next uh, few months. But yeah, we're just trying to get bits and pieces tidied up while we can. And then we'll take this off and be back to feeding cows. Thanks very much for watching. Remember, check out the uh, King Hitter link in the description. Check out their base if you've got an existing rear mount. Have a look at the Dominator base. It's pretty awesome. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.